if you were up early, you did get to see some sunshine. If you were out to the west, you saw the sun as well. Took my boys to the zoo earlier and it was absolutely gorgeous. Temperatures right where they're supposed to be in Milwaukee. And of course, that was before the fog pushed on shore. And that is all because that easterly wind brings some of that cooler air over Lake Michigan on shore. Wind is going to be a different kind of problem tomorrow, not because of the fog, but because it's going to be increasing overnight tonight. And in fact, the temperatures, those will be increasing as well. We're basically as cold as we're going to get right now, increasing temps overnight as well as those winds. So 47 with fog in Milwaukee tonight. We'll see our temperatures uh, starting to climb by about midnight and then we'll continue to watch the wind and the temps increase. Here's a look at wind gusts tomorrow morning. When you head out the door at 730, could see some wind gusts topping 25, even 30 miles an hour, and they do get stronger as the day wears on. They will be from the southeast. That could create some problems along the lakefront. We'll get to that in just a minute, but as the day progresses, still have some pretty strong winds and that does continue into your Tuesday. So along the lake shore tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Milwaukee, Ozaki and Sheboygan County Lakeshore Flood Advisory. What does that mean? Well, six to 10 foot waves could push some water on shore. So some low lying areas near Lake Michigan could be leaning with some flooding. So yeah, folks around Bradford Beach, if you're going to be along the lake shore there, you could be looking at some big breakers all because this area of low pressure is coming in our direction. It was causing a lot of problem down to the south tornado just north of Dallas earlier this evening a nocturnal tornado relatively rare that same system not going to bring any severe weather here but it's just comparing very wet windy and yeah wavy conditions out over Lake Michigan so again starting off the morning on a dry side we will have cloud cover the fog will not be an issue but the winds pretty strong by about 9 30 10 o'clock our first round of rain starts to move on through better chance to see some of those thunderstorms during the middle of the day much of this comes to an end by about five o'clock in the evening notice though it is still on the breezy side even though we are going to dry things out Monday evening on Tuesday not done with this storm system just yet it will bring hit and miss rain chances on Tuesday, but notice those winds are still staying strong throughout the entire day on Tuesday. Very windy conditions to knock some of those fall colors off of the trees. So hopefully you got some of the raking in before this all happens. You'll be doing it again. How much rain? The heaviest up to our north and to our west where they could see top of one inch around here about a quarter to a half an inch of rain expected throughout the day tomorrow and into your Tuesday and hopefully you enjoyed this wonderful weekend we had with temperatures that are average because as we get closer to Halloween below average temperatures are expected in our seven day forecast even before we get to the eight to 14 day we got a few 40s on there as well Thursday and Friday though the next weekend is looking dry at the moment it's just going to be very windy then blustery the next two days your weather kid for tomorrow morning morning is little Tyler Grams. He's 10 years old. He's got his hat on ready for the rain tomorrow and the wind. Yeah, it's looking good. Might get blown away though. Watch the out. The hat, yeah, put it on tight.